So I recently got a request on how to sign up on Stripe after forming a US company. So in one of my previous videos, I talked about having access to Stripe and to do that, you need to form a US company because if your country is not supported by Stripe, the next alternative is to form a US company. And when you do that, you can register on Stripe as a US company. And luckily anyone can register a US company irrespective of your country, irrespective of where you are coming from right so let's assume you have successfully formed your US company and you want to go ahead with signing up on stripe and that is what I'm going to show you today I'm just going to show you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that so to get started we have to head over to stripe.com so when that comes up um, we have to click on the start now button so we can get started so when it shows up this page you have to enter your email address and your full name and for the country you have to select united states and then enter your best password and click on the create account button and then it will ask you to verify your email address so you know what to do go and check your email inbox and then click on the verification link to verify your email address and now you're going to see this page saying activate payments on your account so you can either click on skip for now or you can just go directly by clicking on activate payments but let me just click on skip for now so that i can show you the dashboard before we can get started all right so when it comes up the next thing you have to do is to click on the activate payments but now you are seeing your dashboard right so we need to get started with activating our payment so um let's click on that beautiful button and we are here so it's going to take a few minutes so let's just dive in so for the business location it's going to be united states and for the type of business it is going to be company because you formed a u.s company right so let's go ahead and select company and for the business structure he's a bit confusing but i just want to explain a bit about here so if you are the only owner of the business if when you were forming the llc you only entered your details as the only director or as the only partner then it is going to be a single member llc but if you're more than one person you enter two details right it's going to be a multi-member llc from two persons and above it's going to be a multi-member llc but since i am the only owner of this llc it is going to be a single member llc and that is exactly what i'm going to select now all right so when you select that one that matches with your business structure you can continue with the registration and here you have to enter your business name the llc name so when entering it you have to make sure you're entering it exactly as it appears on your formation document right so go ahead and enter this let's say for example the name of my business is pinoraco i am going to write it as i'm going to write it as pinoraco comma llc right i'm going to enter it exactly as it appears on my formation document and for the employer identification number you have to make sure that you have this because when you have formed your llc you should also make sure you applied for an ein number because if you have an llc and you don't have ein your registration is incomplete because you probably need this ein number right this is what replaces ssn if you are a non-us citizen so if you don't have this there's no point continuing this registration so enter your ein number and for the doing business as it is optional so you can leave it as it is and for the registered business address in your permission document that the formation company sent you in one of my tutorials in one of my previous videos i used ink authority and when you form a business using them you are going to get a dedicated registered business address and you're going to see it in your formation document so this is the same address you should use to fill in these details all right you should use it to fill in these options that they have asked of you right and for the industry you have to select what matches with your business right so you can probably select consulting services or you can select software or you can select digital products or whatever 
that represents your business or whatever your industry is right so when you've selected that you can go ahead to enter your business website although stripe said if you don't have a website you can enter a social media link or a social media page or any other relevant link it can also be your instagram page if you have any or your facebook page right so um, whichever link that you have you can enter it here and for the product description you can enter a short description of what your business do for example let's say i offer consultant services or i do a kind of service i can write that okay let me show you an example i can say my business offer consultant services i don't know how that is supposed to be said but just let's just go on my business offer consulting services and sell digital products sorry digital products and we charge customers as soon as they pay right because um that is what they want you to include right so when you've done that you've entered the details here you can go ahead with the continue button and it will ask you to verify in the next page it will ask you to verify your personal details so you can go ahead and enter your legal name first name and the last name if you have a third name you can make sure to include it as well and for the date of birth make sure to enter the date of birth as it appears on your id card and for the home address for the home address you can click on the drop down and select your home address as it appears on your id card too and give it to them supply it in the boxes here and for the phone number you can either use a us phone number or you can click on the drop down and select your country code in order to enter your phone number and for the assistant section this is what makes this very interesting just because you are registering this as a u.s company stripe knows that you might not be a u.s citizen right so that is why they have given you the option to click on provide a government issued id number instead and when you click on that you have the opportunity to click on the drop down and select your country take for example i am from nigeria and when i select that it will ask me to enter my name number and this is my national identity number so what they're going to request from you depends on what i'm going to ask from you depends on your country's identification right so whichever your whatever your country is whatever your country is and when you select that you'll be able to supply whatever they need from you and instead of me entering the SSN number, I was able to select my country and then enter my ID card number. Interesting. So this is how you can maneuver the SSN problem or issue. Right. So when you're done with this section, you can click on the continue button. And in the next section, they're going to ask you to describe how you fulfill orders. Right, so they said on average, how long after paying will your customers typically receive their goods or services? Now, if you offer if you offer services, you can say within one day, or if you sell digital products or digital services, if you offer services, consulting services, you can say within one day. But if you sell physical products, you can say within two weeks or if you sell any kind of services or products that requires the um, delivery to be within one month or more than one month you can also specify so i'm just going to go ahead and select within one day and continue and now in the next section they're going to ask you to add public details for your customers and for the statement descriptor you can change it to something else it can be the name of your business or it can be the url of your business and for the shortened descriptor, it can also be the one that's at the top, right? It can also be your business name or the name of your website. And for the customer support phone number, it has to be a US phone number. 
so you have to make sure to enter that and if you don't know where to purchase a us phone number i will be including a link in the description of this video so that you can go check it out you can download dinktoon app via play store or app store and purchase a us phone number it has the call forwarding feature and it also has the sms feature and now for the customer support address you can leave it to be the address that you got when forming your us company right so when you've done all of that you can go ahead and click on the continue button for the next option you have to add your bank account right so if your bank details sorry if your bank isn't displayed here you can click on enter bank details manually instead and then you can enter the routing number the account number and then the account number also i just want to say if you have formed your u.s company you can go ahead to register for a u.s business bank account at mercury.com and one of the interesting things about this business bank account is that when you receive money it is absolutely free no deductions no fees and when you send money out it is absolutely free as well unlike payune that you get charged whenever you receive payment yes you get charged whenever you receive payments and payune and you also get charged whenever you want to withdraw so it is not really that friendly especially when you are selling physical products and then the payment processor deducts their fees you send it to payuna and then they deduct their own fee so it kind of messes with your profit but when you have a mercury us bank account everything is just going to be smooth right so um although it's not really easy to get an approved account on mercury that is why in one of these days i'm going to make a video on how you can actually sign up on mercury right in order to get an approved business bank account so i'm back to what we're doing so after you have entered your bank account you can click on continue and like i said they need a u.s bank account so for now you can sign up on payona because it is absolutely free to sign up and you can open an individual account and you can get approved within hours or even instantly right so after that you can also sign up on mercury i mean it is advisable to have as many u.s bank accounts as possible because you you may not know what might happen in the future because there was a time i created an account with bricks bricks let me type it bricks.com i mean i was accepting payments with these people withdrawal is free um people sending in money it was also free but all of a sudden they decided to cut down some people they deactivated some accounts saying that they only want to work with the big guys right so obviously i'm a small person i'm not a big business so um they deactivated my account and also along um, with others so i had to go back to mercury i mean they're not even bigger than mercury they might be but mercury is still the best if you have an account with them because i was also enjoying the same benefits i was enjoying when i had bricks so now i'm using mercury and life is good so going back with stripe continue and then the next thing you have to do is to keep your account secure so what i usually go for is the sms um security and also the authenticator app so uh, you can activate the bolts or just one and then continue so the next option they're gonna ask you to automate sales tax calculation so for me i usually say i usually say no thanks so the next page they're going to ask you to show customers your climate commitment so i usually say no thanks if you want to give out one percent of your revenue you can go ahead and do that but let's say no thanks for now so the next page is going to ask you to review and finish up so you can basically look at all the things you've been entering thus far in your registration and if you see any mistake somewhere you can just click on the pursue icon and you can correct the mistake so after cross checking everything and you made sure that everything is absolutely correct you can go ahead and submit your details all right so we're almost there we are almost there so obviously you are going to get this on your own dashboard but don't panic it is normal you're going to see what that means so they say that you have information in review 
thank you for your response we'll contact you if additional information is needed to complete the review so what you need to do is to click this in review um, notification here and they're going to tell you that we couldn't verify the information provided about your business owner so this might differ depending on your country let's just click on review business owner in your own case it might tell you to submit your id card and i think that's exactly the same thing that they're going to ask of me so it's saying missing required information so let's click on the update so it tells me that the identity information i entered cannot be verified and because of that i have to upload my id card so i'm gonna do that right now and i'll see you in a bit so i have submitted the id card and it is currently processing and now i have to click on this button which says looks good and it tells me that you are all set okay so um here's the dashboard welcome back joy yeah so um we're done this is how you can sign up on stripe using your us company right so but that is not the end we also have to do a test payment to make sure that everything is working perfectly so to do this i will go ahead and create a payment link so let's go to payments and payment links so let's create our first payment link all right so let's add a new product let's name it um test payments let's use um five oh no let's use two dollars Add payment, add product. Sorry. So this is another way you can collect payments from your client. If you don't have a website, you can easily create a payment link and send to them. So let's click on create link, and here is our link. So let's open it. So um, I'm going to enter my details here, and we'll pay the two dollars, and we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay. Thanks for your payment. Okay, that is cool. Let's go back to our dashboard and see what's happening. Oops, oops. So um, here is it, two dollar payment, and let's check our notification. It says um, congratulations on making a live charge. We will deposit the funds in seven days, but future payouts will arrive in just two days. And in fact, as someone that have an experience, if you continue to receive payments using your Stripe account payouts will be made in 24 hours right if you receive a payment today it is going to be paid out the following day so that is one of the benefits of having a business stripe account you can receive your payments quickly i mean as soon as possible so um this is it and since they say that this payment is gonna come in in seven days because it's my first payment my uh, it's gonna drop on the sixth of december because at the time of recording this video um this is 29th 29th november so um this is it we've successfully created a stripe account using our us company so you can basically get started with using your stripe account right away and if you don't know how to create or from a us company you can check in the description of this video you're going to see a link you can follow the guide and you're done and if you have any questions I have also included my Instagram um, profile. You can send me a message. I reply quickly. So um, this is it. Thank you for watching.